This is Chris Diana Hope here, here on Paint Live TV. Uh, today, this is a frequently asked question I get at uh, my Paint Life Supply Co. store, paintlifesupply.com, and that is can you use our 25 foot whip on a sprayer and attach a whip to the end of that, our Swedish whip or another whip? And this whip itself, this is a 25 foot whip, inside dammer is smaller than your standard quarter inch hose. So I've done some testing out here. I had this hose hooked up and then I had a Swedish whip hooked up to this hose. Done some testing right here. Here's our Swedish witch whip, which is even smaller diameter, inside diameter, than our lime green hose. Hooking these two whips up caused all kinds of pressure related issues with the airless sprayer, not building up the proper pressure, not sensing the proper pressure, and then pulling the trigger and getting spits on it. So the test, putting it to the test, you do not want to put a exit flex whip on the end of this hose because this hose actually is a whip in itself. It's just 25 feet long, which is a smaller inside diameter than a standard quarter inch hose. Now this hose makes it so you don't have to have as much paint to load up on a short hose if you're spraying just like a um, one door and you only got a half a gallon of paint, you don't have to have as much paint loading up a, a small hose like this. And then you don't have to have a whip on the end of the gun because the hose itself is extremely flexible. So there you have it. Do I need to hook up a whip to the lime green 25 foot or 50 foot uh, hose whip? And you do not, you do not want to, and you should not. So frequently asked question answered out.